This next video will focus on Herman Ostrow School of Dentistry of USC. Let's start with some admissions background. All of the information presented on this slide was pulled directly from the USC Dental website and reflects 2020 data. So USC is a private institution located in Los Angeles, California. In 2020, they received around 2,300 applications for 144 seats. They had an overall acceptance rate of 6.1%, in-state acceptance rate of 9.7%, and out-of-state acceptance rate of 3.8%. Looking at the student breakdown, 63% of the incoming class came from the state of California. Here we have the average academics for acceptance. So the average incoming student had a DAT of 20.5, cumulative GPA of 3.67, and science GPA of 3.59. Moving on to the admissions requirements. Please know that all of the information presented on this slide applies to the 2021 through 2022 admissions cycle, meaning it is subject to change in the future. For your letters of recommendation, there are two core requirements. First, all applicants must submit one letter from a practicing dentist. The second requirement really is up to you. So your first option is you can submit two letters from science professors in the subjects of biology, chemistry, or physics. Alternatively, you could submit a pre-dental committee letter. At the bottom of this slide, I have included a table that shows all of the course requirements that you must take prior to matriculation at USC. Next, we will discuss some of USC's unique academic offerings. Arguably, the most unique aspect of USC's dental school is its problem-based learning style. For the first two years, almost all science coursework is taught via problem-based learning. The way that this learning style works is that eight students are assigned to a group with a facilitator. Students are then provided a patient case and new aspects of the case are added each subsequent session. Each student is then responsible for researching a part of the case and presenting their research to the group. Through this process of receiving cases and performing research, USC dental students learn the core dental sciences. Another academic offering of USC is its clinical experiences. Students start preclinical training in the D1 year through work in the simulation laboratory. In the D2 year, students transition to direct patient care and assist in hygiene cases. D2 students also rotate through USC's specialty clinics to help understand where they want to go in their future careers. Finally, in the D3 and D4 years, students spend the majority of their time in clinic tackling more complex cases. USC offers a variety of research opportunities. The university categorizes its research into five arenas, craniofacial development, microbial infections, tooth and tissue restoration, cancer, and oral health promotion. If you are interested in any of those arenas, you will likely be able to find a project on campus. USC also has a summer dental research program. Incoming D1 students can apply for this program following commitment to the university. Through this program, incoming DDS students will conduct research on campus during the summer before D1 year. USC values community service, and there are many ways for students to get involved. One such way is the Dr. Roseanne Mulligan Special Patients Clinic. Through this clinic, students can help provide dental care for medically compromised and disabled patients. There is also the USC Dental Clinic at Union Rescue Mission. This clinic provides care for individuals experiencing homelessness. Third, there is a USC collaboration with Hollenbeck Palms, a nonprofit retirement community. Through this collaboration, dental students can help provide care for elderly populations. Another way that USC dental students serve their community is through community mobile clinics. One such clinic is called Queen's Care, which provides dental care for low-income children in Hollywood area elementary schools. Another community mobile clinic is the Neighborhood Mobile Dental Clinic, which provides dental care for children at USC partner schools. 
Finally, there is the USC Mobile Dental Clinic, which is a required dental rotation for all DDS students. The third route of community outreach at USC is educational outreach. Through these programs, dental students hope to educate people on the significance of oral health. One such program is the Teeny Teeth Program. This is a partnership with Young and Healthy in Pasadena to provide free dental care services to low-income children. Another educational outreach program is the Ella Fitzgerald Charitable Foundation. This partnership provides free books to children who complete oral treatment at USC dental clinics. Here we have some final application logistics and financial estimations. All of the information presented on this slide was pulled from the USC dental website for the 2021 to 2022 admission cycle. Some of this information is subject to change in the future. USC does not have any supplemental essay questions. However, there is a supplemental application fee paid through the IDEA AdSAS portal. USC's interview format has two parts. So first, there is a group interview where six to eight students are asked to solve a case scenario. The second part of the interview follows an MMI format. The estimated annual cost of attendance at USC is $106,500, not including the cost of living and transportation. USC has an online scholarship database that opens in May for the following academic year. You can take a look at this scholarship database to determine your scholarship potential.